the tab switcher. And now if I want to make a new stack in here, I can click and hold and I drag this over and let go. Now you have a new stack. Hi, I'm Atle, I work at Vivaldi and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Vivaldi browser on a Polestar. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is to install Vivaldi, you go to the uh, Play Store and you go to the search and you type in Vivaldi. There we are. You click the install button and you wait. Okay, once it's finished installing, you can click the open button or you can go back to your main screen and you'll see it's on the quick launch menu. So we tap Vivaldi to get started. So the first thing you'll see is the welcome screen, which it, you know, it gives you a few choices. You can choose to have um, tracker and ad blocking. So no blocking, block trackers, or block trackers and ads. I'll do just block trackers. And you can choose between themes, so light or the system, which is black. We'll go with black for this one. And later I'll show you how to log into sync, but for now we'll skip this one. We'll just go straight to the start browsing. Okay, so these are the speed dials on your start page. They are little shortcuts. So if I click one of these, it takes me to the page, like Wikipedia. And if I want to add a page to my speed dials, I can, if I happen to have, you know, a favorite of mine, donuts, I want to add this page to my speed dials, I click the little bookmark icon, and I click edit down there. And I can choose either bookmarks or speed dials. And for now, I want the speed dials. I hit the little checkbox and go back to my start page. And now you see the Donut Wikipedia page is there. You can also add new speed dials by clicking the little plus here and then type in a name. Uh, so I can just say news and then the address could be www.news.com, for example. And then click return, or sorry, and then click the little check and then the speed dial is added to your start page. Okay, so if you want to access your bookmarks or speed dials while you're browsing, you can open the panel, which is up here in the top left, and you have all your bookmarks. In this case, we only have speed dial folders, so I can open the speed dial. And if I want to go to Wikipedia directly, I can click this, and there you are. So this is how you quickly access your favorite pages while browsing. Okay, we also have translations built in. So if you happen to visit a page you don't understand, Vivaldi will detect this if it's a different language than your current language, and we will say, you know, this is Chinese, do you want to see it in English? And then I click English, and there you go, it's translated. And we have some options for you as well. So you can choose to never translate as a current page if you want to, or you can say always translate pages when they are in Chinese. Um, and if you want more languages, we have an option for that too. So you can choose whether you want to see this or not. And uh, you can hide the bar like this. Okay, so earlier I showed you the bookmarks panel, but we have a few more panels as well. So we have uh, the history panel, which will show you all the pages you've visited recently. And you can delete them should you want to hide some of these, just by pressing the little X. And we also have a notes panel, which is use useful for taking notes as you go. So I'll show you quickly how you can do this. You can do it by uh, selecting text like this, and then you say, copy the note. And now if I open my panel again, you'll see the note right there and I can click it to continue editing or deleting or removing. So this is a nice way of uh, taking notes while you drive. And if you want to make a new blank note, you just press the little button down there and you can start typing and hit return and hit the little check when you're done and X to close. And now I'm going to show you how to synchronize Vivaldi with your mobile phone or your desktop computer. So you get all the same bookmarks and history and passwords and you do this by going into the settings and to sync and log in. And you type in your details. Once you're done typing in your password, you can choose to save it and log in. Now you can choose to sync everything or just a selection of things. In this case, I'll sync everything. 
and is applying the changes and now sync is active. So now when you go back to your start page, you should see your custom speed dials appearing like this. So it's fetching all my bookmarks from my other machines. Same with the notes we mentioned earlier. So all your notes will be synchronized as well as your uh, history and bookmarks. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the tab management in Vivaldi, which is of course second to none. So here I have a few tabs like you normally do. And then I have a tab stack at the end here, which is a group of tabs. So inside here, you see there are three YouTube tabs. If I want to add even more, I press the little plus at the end. And there you go, there's now four tabs inside this stack. And I can go back to the start page and open the tab switcher. And now if I want to make a new stack in here, I can click and hold and I drag this over and let go. Now you have a new stack. So take one more, click, drag and let go. And I can close this so you can see how it looks. So now there are two tab stacks, one here and one there. And I can make another regular tab and you can see they are defined by this little black outline. That's how you see the difference between a regular tab and a tab stack. So now you have all these groups nice and tidy to keep your, <clears throat> to keep your tab bar nice and clean. And you can even do video conferencing in Vivaldi. So I'll show you now doing it in Whereby. So you go to the room and you log in and you have, I'm gonna take the microphone off now to avoid some feedback in this video, but I'm gonna click join meeting and you should be able to see your friends. Here we are. This is video conferencing in Vivaldi browser on the Polestar. And there's more. So if you're charging your car and you're bored, we have a little game for you. So you can play the game, which we called Vivaldia. Okay, click to play. Here we go. All right, so the controls are down here and you click the start button and it counts down. Let's see how I can do this. Oh, he took me. Oh man. This is really difficult. I got him. Okay. If you want even more entertainment in the car, you can go to basically any streaming service online, just as you would on your computer, and watch whatever you want. So with the benefit of the nice stereo in the car. You can go into the video, you can even do full screen. And to go back, you click the same way as you went in. And that's how you stream video in Vivaldi. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.